Listen, you are going to, you are, you are asking me for what? These were some of the scenes witnessed at a store alongside the Kencom bus stop on Wednesday morning as police attempted to arrest the proprietor, Robin Kongo. His part of the store stocks bodybuilding, sports and nutritional supplements. Yes, it's not, uh, from the other so many Enraged by the raid on his store, Kongo took his frustrations to the streets. You are coming and putting me in handcuffs. Are you crazy? Putting me in handcuffs? Where's the minister? He was just here. I'm a taroka, but to understand the whole scenario, we have to go back to March 2015 when Citizen TV released a four-part series on doping in Kenya aptly titled Poison Spikes. That did not go down well with shop proprietor Robin Kongo and he threatened to take Citizen TV to court unless we publicly retracted the story. But yesterday, authorities led by Sports Cabinet Secretary Dr. Hassan Wario and the CEO of the Medical and Dentist Board, Daniel Yumbia, amongst others, raided his premises. Kongo arrived into the hands of strangers in his premises and he was not amused. This is my premises. This is where I earn my livelihood. Yes. Police officers tried to intervene when Kongo sought to confront the minister. <laughs> We do not. Eventually, he was bundled into a police car and driven to Nairobi area for questioning. In this report and in an earlier expose by a German television, one particular chemist or a place where the drugs are sold was mentioned severally. So what I did, following the recommendations of the task force, I wrote to the relevant uh, bodies uh, regarding this, this and other places that uh, are selling um, medicine which should be controlled and which should not be accessible to our, our athletes. We are carrying out uh, inspections to facilities that the Ministry of Sports has already been given information about. And it's only fair that we visit and verify whether the information that they have is correct. Similar raids were conducted in Kapsabet on Wednesday morning where a suspected quack doctor and lab technician were arrested on suspicion of providing banned substances to athletes. Reporting for Citizen Live at 9, I'm Waihiga Mwaura.